Hey YouTube, I got another video review for you today. This one is from a company by the name of Coolbox. This is their Coolbox cooler, and I just wanted to run through some of the features of this thing and kind of show you, um, you know, just what all this cooler has to offer. And I'm sure you guys are all wondering, uh, you know, what this uh, cooler runs. And so my buddy's gonna tell you what he found out online. Awesome cooler, Coolbox cooler. Retail is probably $2.99. Done some research, found at stores like Walmart, Bed Bath and Beyond, Home Depot, $220 you can pick up one of these bad boys. Cool. All right, uh, first things first, we're gonna start here at the top. We're gonna show you the, the big heavy duty handle. And uh, then right here in front, you've got this little slot for your, your cell phone or a tablet or whatever. You can turn it up on, on the end if you want to. I'll jump down here to the front. It's got a, a water resistant, uh, pouch for you to slide your phone into uh, now I will go ahead and show you uh, my buddy has a, a Google Pixel 2 and we measured it it's six inches long so if you have a phone that's over six inches it will not fit into this little slot but it, it closes up now I will say that it's not waterproof so don't think that you can submerge this thing uh, but it you know it would keep water off of your phone in case you know somebody splashed water you know if it was beside a pool or something plus you know he just pulled up this little uh, waterproof lens and uh, it's got like a little o-ring in here to protect uh, the electronics and you know pretty much has your on and off switch right here an auxiliary port two USB ports and um, it's got your uh, clock and it's got all the, the Bluetooth features on here and it, it shows you how to connect everything and then right here this is for your charging port it actually comes with a charger and uh, right here on the front you've got a bottle opener and it's stainless steel and then you've got these nice latches these are heavy duty latches and then right here you've got this little hole right there for the latch so you can put a padlock on it in case you've got some beer or something you don't want your kids getting into uh, you could just lock it up uh, I'm gonna swing over here to the side and show you it's got another heavy duty handle and it's got some really heavy duty wheels and uh, it's got a one inch drain plug right here and then uh, you go to this other side and it's got a, another heavy duty handle here and then a, a telescoping handle I believe it's 19 inches long and it just uh, helps you roll it around and it's kind of like uh, you know everybody's got some luggage laying around their house and so Anyways, it just makes it really easy to, to maneuver around. Uh, you know, I, I know they've, they've got their ratings on how many 12-ounce uh, cans you can put in here, but realistically, uh, I've got these bottles in here, and, and I would say uh, you could probably put about 8 to 10 and uh, fill the, the top up with some ice, uh, and that should be about the most you could, you could put in here. I'm not sure um, as far as cans. We haven't tested it with cans. But uh, anyways, it'll hold quite a bit. All right, guys, um, looking at the uh, inside of the lid, and I just wanted to show you, it's got the uh, like three piano hinges here, and it's got these little uh, stops uh, to keep the, the latch from, from going too far back. It's got like a little white O-ring seal that goes all the way around the lid, and uh, seems like it's pretty well made. All right, one thing I wanted to point out is right here on the very top, uh, it said that there was uh, two inches of foam, polyurethane uh, foam in the top, and uh, three inches here in the front. And you can see just how thick it is uh, in the front. And uh, the rest of the cooler, I believe, is like one, one inch. So anyways, it's got quite a bit of foam, and you know the, it stays cold for a long time. Uh, you know your conditions are going to be different depending on the weather and, and you know and they always recommend to try to keep it out of uh, Direct sunlight and all that. So, you know, it stays cooler longer um, Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, my buddy's got it hooked up to his uh, Cell phone and we're gonna show you just how the Bluetooth works I don't want to play any music because I don't want YouTube to take it down for copyright infringement so I've got one of my other videos playing so we're gonna go ahead and and uh, just show you how how uh, it sounds and uh, anyways uh, I will point out that it's got two 20 watt RMS marine grade speakers 
And so it sounds pretty good. Uh, it's, it's not going to be you no know, huge boom box or anything, but it, it does have good sound quality. All right, guys, uh, this is one of my cooking videos, and my buddy's about to play it. So this is coming out of the cool box, the sound. Hey, YouTube. I got another video for you today that I know you're going to like. If you're anything like me and you like to eat, you're going to definitely want to watch this video. I'm fixing to cook us up some ribs, and uh, I'm going to show you just how to do it. Um, for many years, I wouldn't cook ribs because I just really didn't know how to cook them. I cooked them several different ways, and they were always super tough. And uh, I'd get through, and I was like, man, there goes 15 bucks down the drain. So uh, anyways, I'm going to show you. All right, guys, you can definitely tell. It's got some pretty good uh, sound quality, and it can get pretty loud. So uh, anyways. Do we want all right, guys, uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to point out on this cooler uh, that could definitely be improved upon. I'm sure Coolbox will be watching this video, and, uh, you know, maybe they'll take this and uh, make a version 2 and improve uh, upon this. But first things first, uh, when you've got the uh, telescoping handle out and uh, you've got the, the cool box on its side, and let's say you're pulling it or whatever, um, whenever you... Uh, try to set it up the handle there on the bottom wants to flop down and so it makes it kind of aggravating because you know uh, it kind of sometimes it, it plops down and sometimes it doesn't uh, so I think maybe they should figure out a way to uh, put secure to secure that handle so it's not uh, plopping down in the way when you put the handle down because nobody wants to pay you know $220 and have a cooler with one scratched up handle and so like I said you know sometimes it, it works fine sometimes it doesn't but you know that's one thing that you know I found that it's a little aggravating um, the other thing is this uh, this has a power bank so you can charge your phone and it also you know you, you can play use it to uh, play the speakers and it only has um, a two and a half amp per hour uh, battery life. I'm sorry, a two and a half amp an hour battery size with a four amp a four hour battery life. And so that's that's not really long enough. Let's say you're out having a, a full day, you know, out fishing or whatever. You know, four hours is just is not a, a very long time. And uh, you know, most of you are not going to have this thing playing it at full um, volume. So, uh, you know, it might not be an issue for you, but for me, I would like to see a little bit larger battery and, you know, it'd be nice if they could at least get eight hours out of it. But, uh, you know, uh, other than that, I think it's a pretty good cooler for $220. Um, you know, I, I think it's a, a good buy. And uh, anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up and uh, I will talk to you guys later. I will put a link in the description for the uh, cool box cooler and uh, if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do put, please comment and tell me what you think and uh, anyways have a good one guys please like and subscribe to this channel see ya